I'm Sally Phillips and I'm the Peatland Project Manager at Abernethy. This is my favourite spot. This is, um, we call this the whale. So it kind of looks like a cartoon whale from the aerial. It's got like a little tail. It's got an amazing view of um, the Cairngorms as well. So it's a lovely place to come and sit and put your feet in the water when it's hot, which isn't very often. Today we're going to have a look at some areas which um, are eroding and then we're going to have a look at some areas that have been um, restored and some areas that are currently being restored. A very, very, very old Scots pine, which has probably been here for somewhere between four and six thousand years old, which is amazing. It's, it's here and it's got some lovely intact bark on it as well, which is the main reason I know it's a Scots pine. Around 6,000 years ago, there was a, a forest here, which is it's hard to imagine now when you're surrounded by, by bog. Uh, after the last ice age, the conditions of the, the climate allowed for, for these trees to grow and for there to be quite an extensive forest. And then the, the climate became much wetter and the trees died um, and then the, the conditions of the climate allowed peat to start forming. So on this site we've got around uh, about two metres of peat in most places, two to three metres of peat. And now because of some of the erosion, we're starting to see these like trees, the tree stumps and the, the branches emerge at the bottom of our erosion features. And it also gives us an indication of how quickly the peat has eroded as well. And now it's kind of it's exposed and we're able to see, you know, just what's kind of underneath the amazing amount of peat that's on the site. We're seeing a pretty typical kind of hag here, big exposed bare peat face and then a really horrible dry kind of gnarly bit of um, peat hag which we call a, a nose. It's a problem because um, it's losing carbon essentially so the bare peat dries out, peat becomes very very dry and crusty and it's really easy for it to kind of blow away or wash away and then obviously that's you're losing the, the carbon from the site then. Sometimes people will compare the nice um, the wet the nice wet peat has the consistency of the middle of a, a chocolate brownie like you want it to be nice and gooey and soft in the middle and then the really dry um, crusty peat is more like a kind of couple of day old chocolate muffin. So your job's making landscape scale brownies? Yeah, yeah, with vegetation on top. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Once the machine's been in and done as much reprofiling as they can, then we get our handwork team in. So all of this, before it had this mesh on it was just bare peat and what they're doing is they're applying a mulch which is like a heathery sphagnumy mulch um, and they put that on and like spread it nice and evenly over the over the bare peat and then they get the geotextile and that gets pegged out over the mulch which is like a little blanket for the peat and it's going to like provide a really nice um, place for things to grow and it keeps the surface of the peat together while those plants establish basically. Hopefully this should all become a nicely vegetated bit of, of uh, ground. Obviously it looks out of place, it's not natural. It does a really good job of, um, of covering the, the peat and eventually it will just biodegrade and disappear. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, but it's doing a really important job. So. Here's one we did earlier. So this is um, some handwork that we did in October last year, October 2023, um, with the mulch and then the geotextile around this what was bare peat and now it's got lots of lovely uh, grasses coming through and it's also got lots of lovely mosses which are just kind of starting to cover the surface of the the peat as well. Before we did any of this work this was just a dry bare peat pan which just only held water in the winter when it was very very wet and now it's holding water all year which is really good. It means the peat is staying underneath the water and the wetter the kind of peat around the area the better they're growing. So. It feels good, it feels hopeful it feels like everything we did last year is maybe going to work so that's brilliant um because we're at about 800 meters here so to have this much growth in one year is brilliant yeah <laughs>